The other woman? What other woman? No! No? No? <laughs> no! I think it's time for... The movie is The Other Woman, starring a bunch of people that really matter, and Kate Upton. It's a classic battle of the sexes. There's a guy who thinks he can do whatever he wants, so he has, he has an affair with somebody, and then he's having an affair with somebody who's having an affair with, and then he has, starts having an affair with somebody who's having an affair with, and somebody who's having an affair with, and there's a lot of affairs, and they all sort of decide to get together and fight back against the dude. This dude's in trouble. But is it a good movie? Is this gonna be a good movie, or is this just gonna make me feel really bad? Is it gonna make all men feel horrible? Well, I think it's time to find out! Igor, my notes on the film! Now, as a mad scientist myself, I have to appreciate a movie that experiments by putting the wife together with the two mistresses. And you see what happens! I wanted to love this movie! The idea is brilliant! Unfortunately, well, at the beginning of the movie, everything kind of goes slowly. I mean, I guess they're trying to build the story a little bit, but it's kind of slow. And then there's some serious stereotyping. Don Johnson is the old guy who always dates someone younger than his daughter. Leslie Mann is the neurotic housewife who doesn't really know what's going on and always gets emotional. <laughs> Cameron Diaz is the cold, calculating woman who doesn't really need a man, but then she finally finds a man. And, and then Kate Upton, the bimbo blonde, but she's so sweet. It's all in there. But let me tell you this, if I ever even thought about cheating before, I'm not going to do it now after seeing this film. I was in the theater with all the middle-aged women who were getting ideas about what they might do to a man. <laughs> no! It's scary! It's supposed to be a comedy. So I can appreciate you can throw all that stuff away. I mean, hey, comedies are built on stereotypes. So, what do I think? Do I think you should see it? Kinda depends. It's definitely not bridesmaids. It is falling along the lines of all those female comedies, and there are some gross moments in this one too, but it's a little more sophisticated. So, there you go, a little sophistication, and it's definitely a fairy tale, and guess what? Nicki Minaj always has clothes on, and she doesn't curse. <laughs> what? Yeah! We better give it a rating now. Three mushroom clouds. Three out of five mushroom clouds. It blows a mindless monster's mind. Are you that monster? <laughs> Are you that monster? I think so. Ooh, that wasn't as easy as I thought. <laughs> I don't know, is this film for you? If you're looking for some mindless fun, go check it out. If you're looking for something else, don't check it out. Whatever you do, what's your favorite female comedy? Leave a comment. Like it? What other woman? <laughs> Remember. 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 You can miss the movie, but not the review.